First things first, I have a bonnet on my head. I wasn't asked to take it off. I haven't done a Q&A in a while, so I thought I would answer questions on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm going to be doing Instagram first. Vinny O'Malley, and he says, can we kiss or not? Well, no. <laughs> the next question is from Sandtown Community. Opinions on Liverpool, question mark, AKA the best club in the world and way better than Arsenal and United. He's asked me the question, then he's already stated what he thinks. So he hasn't really gave me a chance. I'm a United fan, but if I'm being completely honest with you, I'm pretty sure in primary school, there was a stage where I wanted to fit in with everybody else. So I started supporting Liverpool. My mom bought me a Fernando Torres jersey. My brother said he supports United. And then, you know, I came to my senses and I started supporting United. So my opinions on Liverpool, I'm biased to United. But to be honest i don't watch football matches anymore and i haven't in a long time so i'm basically the biggest plastic fan like if some of the lads were going to the pub to go watch a match and they asked me to come i'd go there for the drinks and food but i wouldn't actually really be watching the match though the next question streams will ever return well he's referring to my twitch streams and i streamed on twitch for like a couple months not even that consistently to be honest but i had a couple donations up and i got enough money for i think a power line and i think i got enough money for an elgato which is a device that basically allows me to record footage from my playstation which is currently collecting dust under my desk and i feel so bad because like i was so happy to reach that donation goal and i even made a whole video once i got the elgato and i opened it up and everything and i was so happy but i need to start using it on my ps5 more but i don't think streams are coming back i really want to prioritize videos and i want to try and make more videos on tiktok and instagram reels as well so no streams i'm sorry next instagram question is from james kern in 79 and he says are you going longer to 2024 i didn't go to last year's longer because I was chilling with my girlfriend which is funny because the longitude 2024 lineup came out recently and I wasn't planning on going but my girlfriend saw the lineup and said she wants to see DBE and Sench so I guess I'm gonna go with her but I'm probably not gonna record and make a vlog out of it <gasps> I want to experience longitude for once, you know? I feel like I have to record every single thing. The next question, N Cantona 56 and he goes, do you eat Mickey? I would assume he is referring to male genitalia. I do not eat Mickey. I am a straight man. The next Instagram question is from my girlfriend, Taya Kelly. She says, are you buying your GF a Merc? No. I'm not. I bought you a PS5 not too long ago. Can we not be grateful? Can we not be happy? Where's my Merc? Get me a Merc. The next question is from Keenan, the man. Opinions on Galaxy Bears. Uh, they're calm. I'm pretty sure this question went over my head. Like, there's these two Irish TikTokers and they reference Galaxy Bears in their videos. And it's kind of become a meme now, but I wasn't aware of it at the time when I saw this question, but now I know about it. So I think that's what he was on about. So now watch me just answer this question about Galaxy Bears just completely honestly without knowing anything about the meme. <laughs> There's different types of Galaxy Bears. I'm not opposed to them. Whenever they come in the sweet boxes, I'm not against them. They're decent. They're better than bounties anyway. Not a fan of bounties. I wouldn't complain if I had a Galaxy Bear. If someone gave me a Galaxy but I wouldn't be like, ah, fuck you. I'd be like, oh, that's great. Next question. This question comes from Noah47. Also, shout out Noah. Question is thoughts on Dean Core's death. Well, this is more of like an inside joke. Don't worry, nobody actually died. I have a friend from school. His name is Dean Corr. And this guy is like a ghost. I can't remember the last time I've seen this guy in person. He's very much an inside body. All he does is just play PlayStation. And he appears offline as well. I joined the party that he'd normally be in. And I was talking to friends, you know, Keen, Noah, all school friends, basically. I was like, hey, where's Dean? And then they jokingly said, Dean's dead. And I was like, ha, he's a joker with me. Obviously, Dean's not dead. But then, I kid you not for at least like 20 minutes they just kept telling me this guy was dead like they just kept saying it i'm not even exaggerating it was such a weird joke i'm not gonna lie and then i finally believed it even though they were waffling like they said he got hit by a bus and obviously i know this sounds like oh of course you're not gonna believe that but when they constantly keep telling you and they're all in on it four or five people in the party just telling you hey this guy got hit by a bus hey this guy's dead you're trying to argue it but just they're just telling you no he actually is dead so i was like you know what fuck it i'll believe it then he's dead And then he joined the party. What, what, the call? Hey, hey, hey. 
after they're telling me for 20 minutes that he's dead but it was the funniest thing when he joined that wasn't planned though he didn't know that he said that if he knew he wouldn't have joined the party he would have still had me under the illusion that he was dead so thoughts on dean core's death yeah Fuck your homie, dear. next question is from mc samra 12 and he's like who did you get that beautiful blue yeti microphone say your man was absolutely amazing so he's obviously hinting to himself basically he posted on his story saying that he was selling a blue yeti microphone this one to be exact and i needed a new microphone because my blue snowball which i still have but it's just back there it was starting to fuck up and the audio quality was getting worse and worse on it i bought this for like 30 quid or something 35 which is pretty solid for a blue yeti microphone i already had this pop filter for my blue snowball so yeah shout out mc samurai for sending me it i literally cycled over to where he was i think it was at his friend's house or something and i just bought it off him the next question comes from adam underscore mcd18 and he goes do you remember me from your longitude 2022 vlog well, I'm actually gonna check your Instagram right now and see if I do remember you. You see, there's three different people in the picture. So it's hard to tell and he's private. So I can't actually inspect his page. So I can't tell which one's Adam. So that's probably a bad sign. But like, don't take it the wrong way. A couple of people came up to me in longitude 2022. So I do not remember you at the moment. But if you got a picture with me or if you saw, I'd probably remember. But thank you anyway. So the next question comes from Chukubo. Chukubo? And he goes, did you go to uni? Well, I went to college for half a semester. So this video I made time a girl called the comeback means pretty much nothing i tried out computer science for half a semester and then i just got bored like legit i started falling asleep in class like some of it was online some of it was in college because it was still kind of around covid times and like it was just ass i'd be in college monday to friday and then i'd have to work on the weekend and i was working as a kitchen porter on the weekend and i didn't really like the kitchen porter job because i didn't have any free time because on saturday and sunday i was working long hours and like yeah i just started to hate university i tried to defer and go back next year but like like, I just ended up not wanting to go back next year. But the people I met in uni, I still talk to them. I'm still in a group chat with them. So, yeah, shout out the boys. And then the next question comes from Samantha Scully 79 And the question is, how embarrassing is it that I carried you in Fortnite? Well, it's not that embarrassing if you actually see how she plays. Obviously, when it comes to girls playing games, guys are like, oh, girls aren't that good at games, whatever. But legit, if you put a voice changer on her and you didn't know it was a girl and, like, you changed the username so you wouldn't know it's a girl, you wouldn't believe that it was a girl playing the game because because the way she plays Fortnite, she gives call outs. She speaks as if she's like an MLG gamer. She speaks as if she's in the Fortnite championship. She plays like better than the average Fortnite player. Females can be good at games. I'm not saying they can't be. It's just that like it's a stereotype that girls are bad at games. But this girl is not bad at Fortnite. The last question. XOX Chantel XOX. And the question is, can you do a cartwheel? Well, yes, I can do a cartwheel. <laughs> So we'll move on to the Snapchat portion of the video. The first question comes from Radley Mohal and he goes, how did coronavirus affect you? Next question comes from Ryan Dunn. The question is, would you rather use a strap on or have someone use a strap on on you? These questions are just crazy. What the hell? I would rather use a strap on on somebody else because I'm not getting pegged. That's not what we're doing. But just like, where would I put the strap on? Because I already have male genitalia. The next Snapchat question comes from Luco and he goes, when's the return of the black song part two coming out? And if you don't know what he's talking about, he's talking about the song I made. Drop the music video for it as well. Shout out Calvin for helping me record that i don't think it makes sense to have a part two because the song is called return of the black so if it's saying return of the black part two that doesn't make sense i have already returned in return of the black part one so why would i make a return of the black part two you know what i mean but the answer is no it's not coming and then the next question comes from jack the question is why is it snowed when it should be snoo you don't say i knowed that it's i knew that i don't really agree with that if it ain't broke don't fix it stop trying to add in a new word just leave it at it snowed you know what i mean everybody knows it as it snowed so just leave it as it snowed just keep it simple the next question is from my girlfriend again she's like do you love ugf it's supposed to be do you love your gf not do you love ugf <laughs> i love you bitch i ain't gonna never stop loving you
bitch. So the next Snapchat question comes from Yabba Tapa 2.0. And the question is, what would win in a fight? A black bear or a brown bear? Bears beat Battlestar Galactica. I don't know what that means. All I know is that both bears are a part of the Black Lives Matter movement. They are both either black or brown. So whichever bear wins, GG's. Because they're both black anyway. Fair game. I'm happy. Next question comes from Ryan Addy. And the question is, if you had to fuck any animal, what would you pick? Can't say human. So like, he obviously knows that I can't cop out with the word human. What am I a dolphin, you know? By the way, don't do this. All of this is bestiality. I don't know why I'm saying this as if any of you are going to listen to this and then go fuck a dolphin. This is just theoretical for the question. What am I a dolphin? Or like a fox, like a female cheetah, you know? Dolphin would be the best bet. You could go crazy on a dolphin. What did you say, nigga? Steven, what's the craziest sexual fantasy you've ever had? Craziest sexual fantasy? I don't know. Probably like fake taxi or like bang bus or something. I feel like when you used to watch the hub, you used to probably imagine yourself in those type of situations. Next question comes from Vlad is Slav and he goes, hi Tom, could you rate my car please? <laughs> yeah, that's brazy. Yeah, that bumper is fucked. Bro, what happened? Please comment on this video. It's nice to know that he's a novice because if you looked at that fucking car, you wouldn't think he's a novice. I hope you're all right because that looks pretty fucking bad bro seems fine he's doing emotes on a dead body bro's doing thumbs up Lol. look at the car man i'm in danger if i had to rate your car i'd give it a just about road off out of 10 the next question is but it is the most generic question i get every time i do a question video and it comes from leroy and he says what made you start youtube so basically long story short i was making songs on soundcloud because i wanted to make music i just felt like it so i looked up how to make music on google and i saw garage band and i downloaded garage band on my iphone and i started using my apple earphones to make my first song called i ain't i posted that to soundcloud but i also posted it to youtube so i posted a couple more songs to soundcloud and youtube and then calvin eventually suggested that hey why don't you try and make a proper video on youtube and he introduced me to the editing software that i still use to this day davinci resolve 15. davinci resolve 15 is like five years old probably more i haven't upgraded yet because if it ain't broke don't fix it i needed some footage to test out editing on so i just recorded a lot of random footage and that was my first proper youtube video which is still on my channel now so that's basically how I started YouTube. Five years later, nearly six years later, we're still here making videos. So the next question, question comes from Patrick Zero. Do you know the story of Slash? Swalag and the Bill Collector. Nah, I don't know the story of Swalag and the Bill Collector. Apparently it's a TikTok thing, so let me check this out. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, this is nuts, man. This is so weird. Next question. Jack Ward, he goes, where are you from? I was originally born in Galway, which nobody believes me when I say this. I made a whole video going over to my birthplace after failing my exams. I am from Galway. But whenever I say that to people on the street, you have the random old man. He'll give me the look. He'll be like... <laughs> Galway. Well, where are you really from? And then I know what answer he's looking for there. He's looking for, oh yeah, my family are from Nigeria. And he's like, oh, Nigeria. I have a lot of Nigerian friends. Yeah, yeah like, way. Jesus Christ. But I am the only one in my family that was born in Ireland. So yes, I have Nigerian blood in me, but I was actually born in Galway. And I was raised in Tala, and I still live in Tala. So that's where I'm from. Take that as you will. Next question comes from Mattis. And he goes, can you be super kind and buy me a PS5 too? No. No. If you have a dusty PS4 or if you have an Xbox, use that as motivation to go cop yourself a PS5. I can't do that for you. Next question is from Luke and he goes, what is the longest you've ever taken a scuttery shit for? Jesus. There's been times where like, I've been on the toilet for ages because like, it just doesn't stop coming out. It's just never ending. And then you're already having to deal with a hot shit that's coming out of your ass and it's just taking ages to drop. And when it does all come out, then you're clogging up the toilet because it's a double flusher. So you have to wait until until the toilet is ready to be flushed again. So I'm just there on my phone, just knowing that I caused damage to this toilet. This happens in work a lot. Like I've had so many double flushers, sometimes even a triple flusher, where you just want to make sure that the toilet is clean before anybody else walks into it. So the longest I've taken a shift for could be like half an hour. Tommy, Tommy, how you're not lasting no half an hour? Five minutes tops. Nathan Ree, can you do the tug shake? All you guys are making me perform here. I'm getting asked to do carrot wheels and I'm getting fucking asked to do. Oh, 
Next question comes from Spillan. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Shout out Kyle anyway. Are you going to Amsterdam again for a round two? It's funny because I was in a PlayStation party with the boys and they were saying, imagine if you went to Amsterdam, but with Sean this time. We might go to Amsterdam for a round two, but I don't know if I'm going to smoke because I'm currently trying to get off the vapes. So I wouldn't really want to transition into weed, you know? Me and my girlfriend quit vapes. We went to a nightclub for New Year's and as soon as it hit 12 a.m., we both threw away our vapes and we said we're not going to vape and it's been 14 days. I take so long to edit that it's actually the 3rd of February. I recorded this video on the 14th of January. I procrastinate way too much, but I want to fix that this year. It's been a month and two days of no vaping for me. The longest I've ever gone is a month and 10 days. So I'm trying to beat that and some, you know what I mean? Because a month and 10 days isn't a very long time, to be honest with you. But considering that I've tried countless times to quit vaping and I only end up getting back on it, so much so that I actually made a YouTube video talking about how I kept going back on it and making that YouTube video didn't even help me. So the fact that I'm going a month and two days right now, that's pretty good. That's the longest i've had in a while i don't think i'm gonna go to amsterdam chances are low but if it does happen then you will know spider-man making a comeback and he's referring to belters only halloween they were doing it in the academy and i wore a spider-man costume with the mask and everything i could barely see through the mask i got a rip and i think i threw it away so no spider-man's not making a comeback unfortunately i'm sorry the next question comes from josh and he said any future collabs coming soon well never say never i'm actually gonna call out somebody jim jam society he's the hardest person to reach out to ever even when his channel wasn't deleted i believe he done that by the way what the fuck and i think he's doing work in bali now him and davo shout out both of them he just doesn't respond to me he's the worst at replying so jim jam get your replies up next question comes from leon and he goes would you rather be homeless or homosexual both are for life by the way that's a crazy question there's nothing wrong with being homosexual like if you're gay there's nothing wrong with that so i'd rather be gay did you think i was gonna panic like did you think i was gonna hear this question and be like <gasps> what have to choose between being homeless or homosexual easiest question i've been asked all day bro thought i was gonna have a heart attack when i fucking read this question like next question comes from adam curran and he says bring back the concert vlog bro remember when i gave you the ticket ticket i made a video about that anyway shout out adam i don't plan on going to any concert remember how i told you this was recorded on the 14th of january things have changed since then i'm now going to kid Leroy, nems and tudor cinema club <laughs> all of those tickets were bought in the space of like a day or two i don't know if i'd want to record Record them though because i really just want to take them in same with longitude like i'm going to Killeroy with toya so that'll be my first ever concert with her and then i'm gonna go see nems with my brother because we're both big fans of him and then sean could possibly be coming to two door cinema club and that would be his first concert so like i kind of want to see what he'd be like at it you know I don't really want to put a camera in the mix so if it happens it happens the question comes from kilo carol and i've already been asked this question and i've also been asked this question by dara which i've already answered but thank you both anyway lads for submitting your question and then i got a question from anna the question goes why is your toilet paper facing the wrong direction no nah, that's the right way that's the way i prefer it because it's easier to take off if it's under then it's just weird that is the correct way to face your toilet paper and if you disagree then you're just wrong what a question to end it off on hopefully you guys enjoyed my answers to your questions add me on snapchat and follow me on instagram if you want to be a part of this again i will see you guys in the next video peace